anybody know what the fuck is. Hey, campers, George here. Oof. Hot, hot, hot day. As you saw, uh, temperatures in the uh, mid 90s. I've been like that all day. Just been hanging at the cottage, doing some chores indoors, just hot outside. But I just had to give it a try. Got to come fish. So here we are, Slevin Park. Gonna fiddle around a little, try some different places, and uh, hopefully catch something. I am gonna use my Sage 5 weight. I'll be using uh, my regular flies like the Thin Mint or a Olive Woolly Bugger, something like that. Something that's gonna reflect a lot in the sun. And they're gonna be a little bit heavier, probably number eight, uh, with a bead head, just to try and get it down, because it's so hot sure the fish are in the deeper water so that means in the channel in some holes in the shade if they smile <laughs> which I have a feeling I am not so let's give it a try see what happens what's the worst that can happen I don't catch it that'll be a shock <laughs> let's go fish It is warm. The water is up. We did have rain while I was away. So we're going to try here first to see what happens. And then I'm thinking about going under the bridge to the other side and trying back there. Tried there a couple of times, never caught anything, but hey, the way today is going, who knows? Finman, number eight. Do your stuff. What I'm going to try and do is get over to the other side and as it goes down it'll get to the middle. So I'm further over that way. But as I strip in I'm coming into the trough. Always keep your rod tip down. And I'm just giving it a irregular jerk. Just some slow, short strips. I do have a fish on. <laughs> I was going to tell you, I have a. Uh, I use the mono non slip to tie the fly on, you can see there. And we have us a crappie. Huh. Been a while since caught one of these guys. Good looking guy. And off he goes. Let's try that again. We need something bigger than that though. And I'm tangled in the rocks. Here we go. Get my line here. Free. Clear. And we're going to try and get further over again. And of course, the longer your cast, the greater the delay behind when you're coming forward. It takes longer for the uh, loop to gather to get that uh, power behind the forward movement of your cast. I 
I know you guys that fly fish all the time know this stuff. But I have to remind myself. <laughs> when you get as old as me, you need reminding. Memory is not what it used to be. The longer the delay between between each strip, the deeper the fly is going to go. I let it go too low that time. It's not very deep on the other side. Wasn't in the channel yet. I see we got a fishy coming up. Maybe I need to keep it up higher. Let's make the strip a little bit faster. Keep the fly up. Not so much of a delay. Ah. I'm hoping too much. Again. Let's see if we can get it undone. This might be too far away for my little flicky trick. Oh, we got it. Came off on its own. Thank goodness, these flies are expensive. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to find them online. That's ah, another crappie, I think. There we go. Give us a good tug. Always a good thing. And we've got fish jumping everywhere. This might be a bass. It's got some stria. It's a little bass. Wow. He's a fighter. Not very big, but he's fighting. All right. All right. Easy. Okay. Let me put you in my net. Get him out of here. Whoops. And fall over, George. Let's get him out of here. Sorry, buddy. But you'll go back in. Little guy. Pretty little guy. Look at those colors. And off he goes. Huh. We've got to get bigger. See what we can damage we can do here. Another little trick that I've never mentioned before actually is don't stand with your feet like that put your casting leg forward and if you lean into your cast you'll find that your cast goes a lot smoother if you actually lean into it all the fish apparently are along the side here and not very deep all the little guys anyway Let's try and get down into that trough, which is uh, right in line with that beam for the bridge. Again. Must be another little bass. Oh, these guys are tough. <laughs> they fighting. He don't. Oh, is this a bass or is that a crow? That's a bass. About the same size as the last guy. Maybe a little bigger. Yeah, a little better. Not much, but he's bigger. Yeah, you can see him there. Another pretty guy. A little bigger than the other guy, but not much. i got to get into that deep hole. Because I suspect that's where the big guys are. So let's try and go right into it. Okay, there we go. Let's try and get that fly down. 
so we want to let it sink in between strips Fighting the wind. I think I want to move up there. Go up there or along there. Right off I bring this guy in. <laughs> Is that? No. It is two. You know, three different kinds. Look at that thing. Nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. You know, you're so ugly, I don't even want to touch you. Do you hate catching those things? Well, what do we call it? Crappie, bass, that thing, and I think a little bluegill. Now all I have to do is catch a big fish. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh yeah, I said I was going to go up. Actually, I want to try on the other side. I don't even know if there's room to cast on there. Get it way over there. Let it sink a little bit. And then give it some short bursts through the middle there. My leader is about... It's a, a heavy tapered lead out to I'm not sure, I think it's six pounds. But it's pretty beat up. So it's probably a little rated a little bit better than that. I didn't put any tippet on, I just went straight onto the leader. Only reason is is that there's pike in here and you go with a little tippet they'll be off with your fly in a hurry just did a little bend there to bring my line a little straighter in line with the, the flow down that middle but how much that works I don't know but we persist. <laughs> ah, right into it. How am I? Ah. Oh well. Let's see if we can get this guy off. I think I'm going to get my fly back from this. See how I'm pulling here? Don't pull it towards you, because if the fly comes out, it stings. Oh. Me? Oh, got him back. Having that heavy tip, it certainly helps, but if you don't pay attention to your fly, after you hook up like that and you get it back, Look at the hook, it's bent. And that's when you start to lose a lot of fish, if you don't check that. So, I'm gonna get it back. I'm 
get it back to where it should be. So if I do willing catch another fish I'm not going to lose him because of my hook being bent like that which believe it or not has never happened to me <laughs> ah what do you do mm, not a lot of room to cast you Oh well, here goes nothing. Let's see if we can actually get the fly in the water here without getting hooked anywhere. Water seems very muddy here. Huh. how fast that wood is going here huh this wood is very dirty down here it's surprising didn't think it would be this muddy down here I just uh, so I just moved up from there up here and see what we can get out of here. Got something big here. Yeah, it's heavy. This is a bullhead. Oh yeah, he's big. even see what it is oh he's big he's a big one damn it I can't see what it is see you what is that Channel cat. It's too big for my net. Oh my. Look at this guy. I have no idea what it is. Does anybody know what that is? A channel cat? I don't know. Never caught one of these guys before. 
so I don't know what he did with my fly but oh, he's got a hook in him as well yeah let's see what we can figure out here all right let's get this fly out of him he doesn't have any damn teeth but he has a hook in it let's get that out look at that get that hook out of him broke my leader so I think I'm just gonna put him back in damn bent my <laughs> Wow. He bent my snips. Well, I got him off. I don't know what it is. Is it a channel cat? I'm not sure. Um, I took some pictures of it, obviously. But he had a hook in him that I had to get out. He was already hooked by somebody else that had left the hook in. Um, he broke my leader while I was trying to get that out. So. I think I lost my fly, but that was exciting. <laughs> what do you do? It was exciting. That's a first ever for me on my fly road, actually on any road. That was a bowfin, commonly known as a dogfish. Nasty, nasty, nasty fish. And I panicked because I thought I was about to break my $600 sage five weight two piece nine foot fly rod. Yeah, uh, he didn't want to come off and he was on there good. I got him in with my net barely, he barely fit in the net and he did have another hook in him. It's obviously it was rusted and everything had been in there for a while and he was upset anyway got him out let him go and i'm sitting here in the shade trying to cool off my gopro started to overheat so did my phone so i thought i'd just come sit in the shade got a little breeze going here cooling down and trying to build enough courage to go back and try fish again a nervous moment just a little bit but you know me got to get back in there Got to go at it again. Not for one of them, but some big fish just like it. I'm going to measure it. I know the markings on my fly rod. I'll get my tape measure out and see how, how long it was. It was a little bit bigger than I expected. But we're having fun. And that is what it's all about. Okay. We'll try that again. The wind has picked up, moved down a little bit, well up a little bit, let's see what we can nab here. Well, campers, back at the cottage. And for a spur of the moment, let's go do some fishing in hot weather where we're not going to catch anything. What a two hours that was. <laughs> Anyhow, hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. That was a fun time. And that's what it's all about. So, don't forget now. Like, 
share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back again soon. With another fishing video. Or something. Who knows? I don't. <laughs> Just saying. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there. See you again soon.